Warning, three ways your cash is being stolen from you. There's actually four different places, but three main ways that your cash is being stolen from you from under your nose. So watch this short video. It's very important. I'm going to share with you. This is not um, public knowledge. You think your money is safe. It's not. You think that the money that you've got right now is the money you've got. It's not. Uh, and you think how money works is what you've got in savings or in what you earn. That is not how money works. Now, before I get into this, I want to have a bit of fun. Give me a yes if you're up for a bit of fun. Give me a yes if you're up for winning some cash. Let me know. Because right here, I have got cash and silver coins. So here's what we're going to do for a bit of fun. If you can guess exactly how much cash and silver coins is there, I'm going to give you all of the coins. So... goodness sake they won't come out they got stuck that is a two ounce queen's beast silver coin and i've got one two got another one that just fell down here three see a few more in there so before I tell you the three ways and four places your cash is being stolen, um, give me a yes in the comments if you'd like to win all of these silver coins. Be a good prize to win. And Right, so... How much is there in cash and silver? First person to get it exactly right wins all those silver coins. How much in cash and silver? First person to get it right wins all the coins. All right. So you get one guess, by the way. One guess. So the first way that your cash is being stolen is by the central banks with inflation. So inflation is the increased cost of living and the reduced value of your money, the reduced spending power of your money. That's actually what inflation is. But inflation is actually controlled by the central banks. So um, they print money. The more money they print, the more your money goes down in value. They control the money supply. And they use um, money printing or quantitative easing as one way to pay off their um, trillions of national debt. So every time they print money, it's essentially thieving money from you. Um, now, whilst it might not look like they've taken it because they've reduced the value of it, it's essentially a tax or a theft of your money. Um, and inflation was in double digits um, after lockdown. And I would argue it's often in double digits when it seems like it's under 5%. So let me ask you this. If they say inflation is in the threes and fours right now, do you believe that? Do you believe that everything's only gone up three or 4% in the last 12 months? I mean, come on. So the first way that your money is stolen um, from you, from under your nose, is through inflation because the central banks control, artificially control, um, inflation and the money supply and they can essentially turn inflation up as much as they want and when they do that it pays their debt off so they're actually incentivized to reduce the value of your money because it reduces the value of their debt okay so um quick one if you're just tuning in if you can guess exactly how much cash and silver coins are there i'm going to give you all the silver coins you get one guess and you have to get it exactly right if you can guess how much cash and silver coins is there, one guess, you're going to get all the silver coins. OK, the next way that your cash is stolen from you is through tax. Now, look, we need tax and we are supposed to be a democracy. And, you know, for, for many of us, tax is useful if we've got good public services, although in the UK, many of the public services are um, really ruined now. The roads are 
terrible. The transportation is pretty terrible. The police and the NHS are as bad as they've ever been. So some people argue that tax is required. It's required, but it's too much. And um, yes, we're in a democracy where we've sort of universally agreed it, except we're not really in a democracy anymore because we can't really vote for um, who we want to vote for. And the last three prime ministers in the UK, we didn't even get to vote for them. So, yeah, but <laughs> now I don't mind paying tax. I actually think tax, if it's fair, is fair. I don't mind um, redistributing some of my hard earned wealth um, back to the people who need it the most. But if, if tax was a flat 20, instead of the more you earn, the more you pay and more penal, then I would go for it and I would think it's fair. Here's the irony. Um, the lower class and the people who are struggling, um, the people on benefits can gain the system and pay nothing. The, the lower class and the working class and the middle class uh, abused. The, the lower level rich are, are taxed to their eyeballs, but the billionaires aren't. And so th that's really not right and not fair. Um, OK, so just a reminder, if you can guess exactly how much cash and silver coins are there, I'm going to give you all the silver coins. OK, and then the final way that your cash is stolen from you uh, is the money not you're not earning because... You know, maybe your boss, boss is earning it or maybe your competitors are earning it or, you know, maybe you're not stepping up and um, earning the amount of money that you could be earning. You know, some of the American influencers say, who's got your fucking money? So someone out there, a competitor or someone that's in your industry that's um, got better than you uh, at raising and making money, they've stolen your money. OK, now there is one more and I'll let you know that in a moment. But before we do this. Um, let, let me ask you this question. Would you like to know how to be able to raise more money? Would you like to know how to be able to get joint venture partners, investors, do low and no money down deals, use other people's money? Give me a yes in the comments if you would like to learn how to do this. Because here's the, the mistake people make. People think that how much money they have is how much the money they have, you know, in the bank or in cash or, or savings or investments. No, 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 no. How much money you have is a very limited amount. Even if you're a millionaire, like I'm a multimillionaire, but I don't keep any more than a few million in cash. So actually, that is not um, what, about, what money is all about. What money is all about is how liquid you are. And liquid, liquidity is how much money you can raise. Cash is how much money you've got. You've probably not got much. Liquidity is how much money you can raise. So joint venture partners, investors, finances, you know, your ability to get mortgages and loans and be creative with finance. This is liquidity. Cash is just how much money you have. And no one has enough cash to grow. No one. Like, look at all the big companies. They have to raise cash. So if you'd like to learn how to raise cash and be liquid rather than just rely on the money you don't have, then I recommend you join my brand new How to Raise Cash Um Zoom class. So I'll, I'll share the link with you. Now, by the way, this was I was only going to do this for my Rob.team members. But then I thought, wait a minute, the people who need the content the most on how to raise cash are the people who maybe don't have a massive amount of cash. So I thought, you know what, I'll open it up to my wider community, but I'll only do it once. There'll be no recordings and no replays. Uh, and I'm going to share with you um, how I went from 50 grand in debt to doing hundreds of no money down property deals, how I was 50 grand in debt and started my companies on 200 quid, which I put on a credit card. So I was 50 grand and 200 pounds in debt and how I turned that into a multi-million pound business empire. Uh, so these are the things I'm going to teach you how to be investable, um, how to use your latent resources that you have within you to raise money, how to attract cash, joint venture partners and finances. So if you like the sound of this, the link is tiny.cc forward slash raise cash. That's tiny.cc forward slash raise cash. Go there right now uh, and go and register for that. No recordings, no replays. I've got a guest expert coming in who is, I'm going to talk to you about how he went from 140 grand in debt to being a multimillionaire. He's a kind of creative finance and no money down expert. So there's actually not one, but two of us. 
I'm going to talk to you about my Crest formula that I've devised over 17 years of doing this. Credibility, return, exit, security and trust. These are the five main assets that the private investor needs from you. We're going to talk about some ways to um, where to find the money and where to find the people with the money. So, um, yeah, if you go to tiny.cc forward slash raise cash, go there now. Then a couple of things when we come back. Number one is I'm going to address some of the comments because I can see one person spamming me with comments. I've got someone who's disagreeing with me. So I'm going to address those comments in a moment. Um, but yeah, go and, go and um, register for tiny.cc forward slash raise cash. Because at the end of the day, you cannot grow with the cash you've got because you haven't got enough. Even if you won all this. That's not enough to buy property. That's not enough to start a business. That's not enough to build an empire. So everyone, and I mean everyone on the planet who's become a millionaire or built successful companies or invested in assets that have made them financially free, everyone learned to raise cash and no one was born with the cash. And this is what I'm going to teach you. And, and I, I, I became very good at this because I started with minus 50 grand. Now, the good thing about that is you're motivated. And the good thing is about that is you can't use cash because you haven't got any. So if you haven't got cash right now, this is actually good. Because you can't use the cash because you haven't got any. So you have to find other ways. Being investable. Learning how to pitch. Following my Crest formula. Credibility, return, exit, security, trust. Learning the resources that people require that are human and not capital related. So go to tiny.cc forward slash raise cash. It's in 48 hours time or less. And there are no recordings and no replays. And there's not one but two multimillionaires that are going to teach you how to raise cash for property, investing for business, for anything, really. OK, next thing is, remember, finally, if you can guess how much is there, you're getting in all the coins. How much is the total value of the cash and the coins there? If you can guess it, then um, you can have all the coins. OK, I said I'd address some of the comments. So let's have a look here. Jason Carter keeps saying, contact me, contact me, contact me. Why would I contact anyone if I don't know what it's about? So here's, an, here's a maybe a little tip. When you're reaching out to get a, an audience with someone, if you just say, contact me, contact me, contact me. No. Why would I? What, are you going to sell me? What, are you going to complain? What, are you going to have a go at me? Why would I just contact you if you demand 100 times to contact? I'm, I'm not saying this to be unkind, Jason. I actually think it's really helpful. So, you know, you need to let people know what's in it for them. If you want to raise money from them, if you want to get a lunch with them, if you want to learn what they know, if they're a millionaire, if you want to get some of their time, you need to find a reason that they would want to do it. You need to find out what's in it for them. You need to give them something, do something for them. And then what Jason did at the end is he said, you know, if you care about me and blah, blah, blah. So he used sort of emotional um, blackmail. Doesn't work. No, I, I know that I care. Don't need anyone to emotionally blackmail me to contact them. When I don't even know what it's about, when I'm really busy, when I'm here giving my time for free here. So these are just tips, by the way. I guess I'm challenging um, here because I think it's important. All right. And then let's have a look at Ricky's comment here. So Ricky has said, you're talking poo again. OK, so again, Ricky said I'm talking poo, but he hasn't said what specifically about. He said he doesn't agree he's afraid, but he hasn't said what he doesn't agree about. So I think a lot of you can learn from me here, clearly. So if you don't agree with something, um, share what you don't agree with specifically and challenge for someone to explain and create more context. Um, ask a question instead of just saying someone's talking shit. Um, you know, these are all clearly you all need my Zoom class here. Um, all right. So let me just do a quick summary for you. And that is um, the, the, the main ways your money is being stolen is through inflation which is central banks, through taxation, which is government, through savings, which is central banks and governments, and through competitors and people who've got the jobs that maybe you could or should have, or, or other people who are making money where you're not when you could. These, I would say, are the four main ways um, that your cash is being stolen. Now, Chris has said, don't give... These idiots, the time, mate. I actually don't see them as idiots, Chris. I'm really grateful for um, all my critics. I'm really grateful for people commenting. I'd rather people uh, comment and criticise than don't comment at all. So, um, I'm, you know, I'm not just giving airtime to uh, haters. I actually think this is useful and valuable feedback and discussion. 
Um, and I just like to answer questions when I can. OK, so final chance then. How much is there? If you can guess how much is there exactly, you're getting all these silver coins. Um, my, my gold expert guy reckons that silver is very undervalued compared to gold. Okay, and then if you go to tiny.cc forward slash raise cash, I've decided to open up this Zoom masterclass, not just for Rob.team, but my, but my, my wider communities. Why? Because let's be honest, the people that need the content on raising cash are probably the people that haven't got a massive amount of cash. So this is why I'm doing this to help. So if you'd like to learn how to raise money to, for property, for investing, to start a business, if you'd like to be really good at raising cash, if you'd like to know how to be investable, how to attract money, how to do low and no money down deals, then go to tiny.cc forward slash raise cash. Go now. Don't wait. No recordings, no replays. Unless you're a Rob.team member. Lina said, show us the silver. There's the silver and cash. Guess exactly how much is there. And the silver coins are yours. So thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you. Please keep engaging in the comments. Please ask questions. Please challenge me. Please make sure you take action. When all is said and done, more is said than done. To know and not to do is not to know. So have you registered? for the how to raise cash and do no money down deals, property investing and starting businesses at tiny.cc forward slash raise cash. See you there.